Um, these poems turn the pastoral tradition upside down, ever careful to remind us of the price for all this reflection and merriment. Jay Choi writes, I love the gravely funny, imaginative poems of what the lyric is. Nicholson deploys a provisional dream logic in which all things are level with the goddamn oak or the bladder-shaped stars, and any itinerant hope that there is a wisdom greater than, quote, I wanted to sing so I stopped talking, must be laid aside or get dragged instead to the trash. Please welcome Sarah Nicholson. Thank you, Ben and Alan. This is really awesome. And um, Bryant Park Hall. Yeah. Um, it's really great to be in New York. I'm going to read three poems. We are seven. If morning be the color of peaches, let the clouds be sea foam. There are oboes in the valley making music for no one. Night rubs its hand over the butt of the earth. I think I would make a good father to the infant Wordsworth, who at a young age was orphaned and most likely desired the father. He would sublimate nature to find the father only landscapes and cottages and windswept orchards could to him be. After beating him for no particular reason, I tell him stories of the red and white onions the provincials used to grow in this valley, the snapdragon whose presence calls forth a sort of loathing of the earth and sky. We are seven. Me, 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 and Wordsworth. His vision of childhood informed by my parenting, his sister destroyed by spinsterhood and gallstones, inversion of the sort I used above, the to him be, was a much-loved contrivance of the minor poets, and along with odes and expletives my favorite of their ways to get their readers to see music as the condition of speech. The rose they choose as always as some trademark of the lyric. They romanticize the weather, sure, but also midsummer evening its beauties, humankind its stupid laws and works of art. A wax seal over the eye of the reader, who I like to imagine standing at the foot of the stairs of the poem, leaning over the mantelpiece that surrounds the fire of the poem, the metaphors that do nothing for us but renegotiate the wind. I began the day by overthinking the relation of seagulls to the morning sky, birds eating peaches or sea foam, birds eating colors in a nautical landscape the kind that we can't seem to stop ourselves from writing over and over and over again. I'm telling you this, reader, because I like you and want to help you. Waves, they blossom. The ocean lurks. <laughs> 